What's happening there guys and welcome back to another great video. Facebanks made a fortune when he started working in crypto. The idea was still fresh at the time and he used that as the perfect opportunity to become a millionaire. Today, people consider him an example on how to work in the crypto market and generate profits. Sure, there are lots of other people that have done the same, but Banks remains a prime example in the matter. Today, we'll be taking a look at FaceBank's insane crypto profits. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 3. Big Name in a Big Organization If we talk about gaming organizations, Face is arguably the biggest. They have hands in almost every game played online competitively. Richard Bankston, otherwise known as Banks, is a content creator and one of the proprietors of FaZe. Throughout his career, he's been known as one of the biggest influencers of the organization and he's used almost every platform to create an impact. Banks has also helped FaZe become a massive corporation by expanding its staff and recruiting more content creators. At the age of 29 years, Banks is one of the richest individuals currently sitting in the FaZe mansion in Los Angeles. Besides being an important member of the organization, Banks also has a YouTube channel with more than 5 million subscribers. Banks is also well known for another business that he conducts exceptionally, which is CryptoPunk. Since the beginning of 2021, Banks has increased his net worth rapidly by investing in crypto and generating huge profits in no time. Number 2. How Banks Became a Millionaire while Banks has been associated with the FaZe banner for as long as we can remember, it wasn't the gaming organization that made him the fortune. Banks is one of the most successful crypto traders in the world today. While he isn't involved in the mining or other such hectic jobs, his field of trading is quite different. Banks deals in NFTs, which although might seem quite irrelevant today, is one of the best ways to make money according to Banks. NFTs are an entirely new concept that took over the world by storm last year. Digitized pictures that were secured on blockchains became a sensation over the internet within a few weeks. Everybody was looking up their information and searching for cheap ones to sell them with some profit. While some were successful to an extent, Banks made his bank balance erupt with quick thinking and trading. Banks made substantial investments in NFTs which were turned back to him in a short period. On August 1st, Banks sold an NFT for more than $500,000. According to Banks, it was a massive profit that even paid up for all the orders he had bought in the process. He also bought another CryptoPunk recently and within two days, Banks sold it for $250,000. The profit may not have been that much, but Banks managed to make more than what he paid for. Banks considers NFTs to be a great way to make money. He still creates NFTs to put them up for sale. According to him, people can make enough profit in the NFT business to turn their lives around, but they'll need to be smart if they want to do that. This statement comes from a man who made around $750,000 within a week and will take him up on his word. Number 1. Stuck in Controversy NFTs can be a complicated item to trade. There are many loopholes which a new investor might get lost around and end up losing his money in the process. Plenty of examples are present where people cashed in their investment on an NFT and lost it overnight. An NFT's value depends on popular opinion and acceptance. If the NFT develops a public interest, its value can skyrocket within a few hours. Conversely, it can also drop to significantly lower amounts in a short time, leaving people devastated. While Banks might have made a big ahem bank through his trading, he's also seen his fair share of controversy. Recently, FaZe Clan was under fire for running a pump and dump scandal right under their nose. Many members of the organization, including Banks, was allegedly involved in the scam. While he actively denied all accusations upon him, it seems to have shaken things a little too much for him. We've seen certain instances where celebrities and influencers promote a product. While many of them are paid, some of them are owned by these people who get a large share if the demand increases drastically. For example, Elon Musk and Dogecoin's promotion was quite notable. In the same manner, Banks and some other members of FaZe promoted a currency named SaveTheKids.io on their social media platforms. Now if people invested in the currency and it devalued significantly in a short time, many people would suffer great losses and influencers would be responsible. 
The same happened with FaZe as the currency quickly lost value. Allegations of a pump and dump scandal were made and FaZe was quick to remove several people off their team. While Banks didn't give a clear response to the accusations, it's still believed that it was a well-planned scheme by him. That's all we have for you guys in today's video. Thank you all for watching and do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think down in the comments below as we can't wait to hear all about it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to show your support as well as turn on post notifications so you'll always be notified of our new uploads in the future. We'll be back here again with some more great content so do stay tuned and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye now.